surface penetrations in plasterboard ceilings are subject to two kinds of fire ratings, the first of which being a fire resistance level, or FRL. The FRL is measured from the top of the flooring and ensures that the floor ceiling system and service penetration maintain its performance in terms of integrity and insulation. Aside from an FRL, ceiling systems are subject to another requirement under AS 1530.4 called the Resistance to the Incipient Spread of Fire or RISF for short. The first fire spread mechanism covered by the FRL is the fire spread to the compartment above, attempting to ensure that fires do not spread vertically up and down a building. On the other hand, the RISF rating addresses the horizontal spread of fire within a ceiling cavity. When we have a service penetrating through a fire-rated ceiling, a downlight for example, this creates a weak spot in the ceiling. If a fire was to start in the room below, the downlight provides a highly conductive thermal pathway for heat from the fire to spread into the ceiling cavity and ignite any combustible materials present. This could be the roofing insulation, dust or stored items. Once this combustible material has heated up to the point that it ignites, the fire can then spread to adjacent rooms via the ceiling cavity, jumping over any firewalls, despite the floor element maintaining its FRL above the original fire compartment. To provide enough time for residents in the building to evacuate and for firefighters to arrive, we must slow down the spread of fire from one compartment to another through the ceiling cavity. To do this, the service penetration must be protected using a compliant passive fire stopping system. For a downlight, this would be a downlight box. This system will increase the time it will take for the extreme heat of the fire to ignite any combustible materials on the ceiling cavity. The RISF rating measures the ability of a ceiling system to stop this spread of fire within the cavity and is measured in minutes. For example, all floor ceiling systems in the NCC need to be tested to maintain a 60-minute RISF rating. To maintain a RISF rating, the maximum temperature measured during a test inside the ceiling cavity must remain below 250 degrees Celsius. The temperature is measured using thermocouples which are placed in the cavity area, and in this case, on the back of the downlight box here. If any of these thermocouples register a reading of more than 250 degrees C before the 60 minute mark, the test specimen has failed RISF. An important factor to achieving this rating is the size of the cavity present in a floor ceiling system. A larger cavity will keep testing temperatures lower for longer. This is because the additional air gap present assists in cooling the building elements. As such, it is considered that testing of this nature should only be applied to floor ceiling systems of equal or larger cavity sizes than what was tested. We offer a range of systems approvals that are tested specifically for plasterboard ceilings to AS 1530.4-2014 with RISF ratings, both 60 minutes and 120 minutes. Some of these systems include downlight boxes, ceiling dampers for exhaust fans, access panels, fire collars, sealants and boards, superstopper range for data centers, and firebox maxi for larger bundle service penetrations. Visit our website for more information.